This week, we're taking you along for the ride as we tackle one of the most embarrassing projects that we've ever put on video. A much needed garage overhaul. This is embarrassing. We started this job thinking it would be relatively straightforward, but what we didn't anticipate was that this thing was basically going to turn into a circus. That's so bad! Oh my oh god! My god. <laughs> so join us for the adventure as we show you possibly the most outlandish garage cleanout of all time. Before we get started, we want to say thank you to Webroot for sponsoring today's video. Webroot is an award-winning antivirus software and they have now partnered with Allstate Identity Protection to provide customers with the peace of mind they deserve. With Webroot Premium, you'll have antivirus protection against emerging threats for up to five devices, including mobile and Chromebook security. It also includes a password manager plus a system optimizer to clean your devices and erase traces of online activity. Plus, Webroot's leading antivirus software is lightweight and doesn't interrupt your work. And now with Allstate Identity Protection, you get credit, dark web, identity, and financial monitoring with proactive alerts on threats to your identity. We've installed Webroot on our work laptop and it was super easy to install. It didn't take very long and anybody can honestly do it. If you're interested in Webroot Premium, you can check out our link in the description where you can buy now and save 40% for a limited time. So thanks again to Webroot for sponsoring today's video. We picked an absolutely beautiful day to start a project that we had been dreading for months. Are you ready to see your ugly garage? <laughs> no. Pull back that thing! <laughs> hey, hey. Stop. He's leaving me. Actually, I changed my mind. I quit. Actually, we will be hiring professional help. We'll catch you in the next video. <laughs> All right. How do you feel about this? We're just gonna do it. We're just gonna go. We're gonna give away a whole lot of stuff. Before we got started, I figured I would take inventory of everything we had. How did we get so much stuff in here? All right, so what's the plan? Empty it all out. We're gonna put a bunch of stuff by the curb. I'll put it on Marketplace and just say free stuff. Organize it so we can kind of figure out all of our storage stuff and putting it back in. All right, let's do it. Well, let's go. Step one was to clear this garage out, and it was quite a big job, so we kept it fun. Woo! I'm a ninja in my spare time. One thing is for sure, we have a lot of bikes and I like to ride them. But more than bikes, we have just a lot of rolling toys and again, we like to ride them. After getting a lot of the little things out, we kept going and started moving some of the bigger things out. All right, we are 20 minutes in. We are making some good progress with just 20 minutes of labor. So let's go in and talk with the project manager. We can walk in our garage now, I guess that's good. Yeah, I'd say we're making I'm some real progress here. Gladiator mode, gladiator mode. Gladiator mode! Yeah! Woo! That like actually made me really tired. Okay. Darling, are you okay? I can't do it anymore. Uh -huh. All right, so we're 40 minutes in. How are you feeling about progress? I'm tired. Hey, but look. No way. Who's that? An old relic. I've got to show the kids these. I'm Is that Bob Ross's painting? Are you Bob Ross's daughter? It's okay to make up little stories about your painting. First oil painting. So at 40 minutes in, we kept making progress, and that's when we discovered that we had a very unexpected guest who was going to keep things very exciting. Oh, that's a large possum. 
All right, so we have had a large possum sighting. <laughs> I need something to stand on. I need something. To stand on. Oh, this is so gross. Okay, so he is right. It's hard to see it, but he's right there under the tarp. So I'm just gonna get this a little shimmy. You can see it. You can't see it, but his body's like right there. You scared? Oh my oh gosh. gosh! Okay, this is why you don't leave a mess in your garage. Oh my gosh! That's like the size of a cat. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Look at him! Ah! He's like, oh, stop! No, no, no! No, Look at him! I need a stick! He's um, kind of cute, but he's kind of gross. Andrea was literally beside herself, so we decided to call in reinforcements. Yeah, I'm trying to get a hold of animal control. We have a large possum in our garage. He is seriously he's bigger than a guy. He's massive. <laughs> so, like, don't hit him, but, like, poke at him, like, with a broom. So, do you want me to do that? I'm facing my fears, babe. I'm facing my fears. Gotta go out. Hey, that was the adrenaline rush I needed, I guess. Yeah. I'm ready to go. You got the energy. That's right. a little bit. So after some exciting animal handling, we continued progress on cleaning out this garage. All right, so this is our one hour update. We've made some good progress. How are you feeling about it? My face is stuck like, I can't believe we're filming this to put on the internet. <laughs> yeah, it's We're a just little... here to make everybody feel better about themselves. This is nasty. So we used to actually do painting in the garage whenever that was last winter when the weather's just not very good, it's too cold, too moist outside. That's why we have all these tarps in here. So if you can believe it, less than a year ago this was actually clean. Like this is how fast it happens. Life happens. I've become a furniture hoarder apparently. Well, we're making progress. We're making progress. progress we're an hour and 20 minutes into this that's we, not too bad well all we've done is take it out i guess we still have a whole lot left and we haven't done that side yet so we basically cleared out one side of the garage then obviously we'll have to clean everything out then reorganize it and do all that but i think some great progress in a little under an hour and a half so we're gonna stop for a lunch break real quick get our hands and everything cleaned off go get some supplies for the clean out and then we'll keep going Lunch of champions, woo! <laughs> After getting back, we magically unloaded all of our tools and even had a little wheelbarrow. <laughs> But really, it was time to get back down to business. Our first mission was to separate tons of things that we wanted to give away. When you flipped as many pieces of furniture as Andrea has, you end up with lots of really old mirrors. And instead of trying to sell these one by one on Facebook Marketplace for a few bucks each, we just decided to give them all away. We made some good progress. We're what, about three and a half hours? Yeah, so we're gonna call it quits early because we realized we have dinner guests coming over and we stink. We're gonna get cleaned up, we're gonna go pick up the kids, and I'm gonna start our dinner. Okay, so it's day two of cleaning, and we're gonna focus on getting this side cleared out. We got this side, which is really the bulk of the mess, on this side cleared out yesterday, and hopefully we'll be able to get everything out and actually start putting it back in today. <laughs> Progress was moving along pretty quickly here on day two, and we just kept taking everything out of this garage. I'm in a hulking. Ah! I feel like this thing weighs about 732 pounds. All right, 
so we are four hours in, and I would say it's not bad. Not bad for progress after four hours. We've got one whole side cleaned out. We've got another side pretty well cleaned out. We've got obviously still some more items to do on that side, but hey, I think we're pretty happy with the progress after four hours. Let's keep going! After making some serious progress, it was time to start thinking about organization. Okay, so we're about to put some brackets on the back wall there to put any scrap lumber that we have that we currently have piled. I wanna be able to lay it flat on these brackets. They hold a thousand pounds each, so I think that should be plenty. We're gonna do a few of those, and hopefully that'll be a better just use of space and also keep it from getting warped when it leans up against the wall like that. I used my level to make sure we had the brackets even and then once they were attached to the wall we started loading them up and it felt so good to get this scrap wood organized. Alright so we got the brackets up and we got all of the wood that is still usable which isn't too much up on the shelves and we're ready to keep clearing the space out. Don't quit. Have a cold one on me. You've done good work today. Next, Andrea decided to move over this big shelf and I decided to make myself useful. After moving around some shelves, we finally emptied out this wood cabinet, which was mostly full of supplies that the previous owner just left in there, along with a few of our own things. And so it was past time to get this thing cleaned out and just get rid of it because it was literally falling apart. Babe, would you say that you have an obsession with paint? So this little built up wood area, it's been here since we moved in. We don't actually know what it's like underneath it. I'm assuming it's just concrete. It's rotting. I think there must have been a leak at one point. And so we're gonna try and take it out. Hopefully it's not too hard. And it was definitely grody under there. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, there's definitely many animals living under there. We worked on removing the area of built up flooring and then started cleaning until we ran across a very interesting animal. Yo! That's a rat. That's gross. I mean, really, it's not every day that you get to see a dehydrated rat. After getting the wood floor removed, it was finally time to start cleaning out this dusty garage. Sweeping made a big difference, but we wanted to take the cleaning even further, so we got out the pressure washer. So this is the final step of cleaning, and I haven't actually used a detergent in here before, but since this is so nasty, we decided to put a soap in here. This is gross, but we're so close to being done, it's encouraging seeing everything all emptied out now, and then once we get this done, we can actually start putting it back together again. <laughs> First, I sprayed a layer of soapy water all over the entire floor to let that soak in before I went back and pressure washed in detail every square inch of this garage floor. So after a long time with the pressure washer, this garage was finally empty and clean for the first time since we had moved in. Two days of work, but the garage has never been this clean. It's probably never looked this good in history. <laughs> I mean, this is about as clean as, it, as it's ever been. I'd say it's worth it. It is feeling so good in here, that's for sure. Bad news is there's a chance of rain tonight and it's basically almost dinner time. So we need to just try and get everything in here and then I guess we'll figure out organizing it from there. All right, well, shall we snap to it? Yo! With rain on the way, we made a mad rush to get everything back into the garage, and this actually became our downfall. Wow. 
What happened in here? <laughs> this is embarrassing. Well, a lot of things have happened in the last year. A lot of projects. We've got some new things in the garage, like a new workbench, a new saw stand, a new toolbox. We didn't put our Christmas tree away because <laughs> we couldn't get to the back of the garage. And I will say, while we did clean our garage out, a year ago we didn't ever finish organizing everything and That's so true. this should be a really good what would you call that like I don't know this really supports the point that you need to have a good organization system because if things don't have a place to go it's just gonna end up right back how it was which is what happened to <laughs> us <laughs> but basically one year later we're kind of back to square one you know yeah but we got our running shoes on we're gonna like yeah. boogie and see how if we can do this like in a day oh should yeah. we make bets do you think we can <laughs> i don't think we can do this in a day but i'm sure you are confident that we can all right shall we begin let's do it so once again we were cleaning out this garage merry christmas <laughs> yeah show us a cool move i will he has lots of talents <laughs> All right, what's next? I don't know, man. I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out, I guess. Next, we focused on organizing our scrap wood. And if you've seen our last few months of videos, you know that Andrea has been doing a lot of furniture building, which means a lot of scrap wood. Uh, more floppy stuff. <laughs> oh, and we forgot to mention a huge thing that happened in the last year is we moved me out of my studio office. Goodbye, studio. It's been real, but uh, it's time to go do some more house projects with DIY Wife. So a bunch of that equipment just got dumped here in the garage. So yeah, things have gotten a little out of hand in here. So what is this piece we're looking at here? It's one we had in our house for a long time. I just don't have a place for it anymore. What'd you find in there? Some little paint swatches. I like these. We're gonna be using them to color kind of like this soon. Oh, it might be time to let it go. Yeah, sometimes you gotta let things go. I'm know? letting a lot of stuff go. I'm ready to just say bye to all of it. That actually <laughs> reminds me of a song. <laughs> let it go! You think we're gonna find any animals in here? And somehow, it just seemed like the stuff in this garage kept going and going. Merry Christmas! <laughs> you didn't know Aldini Boy used to play tennis back in the day. Junior college. Andrea hasn't flipped furniture in quite a while, but we still have a few pieces hiding in our garage. Look, babe, we've uncovered an old relic. This is from the ancient Mayan civilization, is it not? <laughs> Goodbye, old light. It was nice knowing you, buddy. Goodbye, guitar poster. It was nice knowing you as well. But I'll give you one last shred. A unicorn? <laughs> My spike balls! Shh. Come on! Dude, this ping pong table so beefy. This is the kind of stuff that scares me. Like with these blankets and stuff, I just feel like an animal's gonna pop out. Speaking of beefy, this beefy boy. And after what seemed like forever, Andrea decided she was ready to pass the baton. I'm passing the baton to you. You just seem like you have so much more energy today. I'm so tired. I'm gonna go get food. I know you're gonna do great. I am gonna need some extra power. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Don't put that in there. <laughs> well, I guess it's up to me now. Let's do it! Wanted to make a note here, it's a failed golf hobby. You know, you buy the clubs, you go play for a while, you're like, this is awesome! Finish it off with the double bug. How about that? And then you realize you're absolutely horrible at it, and then uh, and then you put them in the back of your garage. All right, from now on, there is going to be a hidden object in every scene, and it's going to move every time. You got to point it out. Can you find it? Can you see yourself in this mirror? Can you see yourself in there? Trippy. So have you found the mystery object, the moving object yet? I don't know where it is. Remember when our kids painted these? Merry Christmas, uh, again. Oh my gosh, getting pretty daring here. 
this cute little thing. This is a double mirror carry. Guess the last thing in this corner is the trusty old Easter egg itself. Well, another section down, but the job just goes on basically because there's a whole lot more stuff. My trusty BMX bike. I've jumped many a jump on this. The old lawnmower. This was once going to be a special project, but it just didn't pan out. And not every project does pan out, and <laughs> so that video just never got posted. Some of my favorite tools that we've used to smash things, like bathtubs, you know. That's a wrap on this section. All right, last big section here, and it's, it's a big one. All right, so the new Easter egg is this red jacket. See if you can find it in every shot. Do you see it? Where's the red coat? Camping chairs. Have you guys seen my red jacket? Can't find it. Alright, that should about do it for this section. <laughs> Look who decided to show back up, ladies and gentlemen. Where did all this stuff come from? Are you an angel? I am. Oh my gosh, babe, you like emptied our garage. I seriously was like, I was talking to my sister and I was like, he'll probably stop and take a break. <laughs> oh, come on, babe. You emptied our garage. That's insane. Way to go. Good job. Is your heart swelling with pride? <laughs> it really is. Wow, this is my love language, I think. <laughs> This is my love. Oh my gosh. All right, so next we're going to go ahead and quickly sweep it all out so then we can start organizing and getting stuff back in here. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm going to blow off all that outside part, maybe a little bit of the middle, and then we can sweep up the last little bit. That just seems more efficient. I can't get the edges with a push broom, so leaf blower it is. Yeah! So after a lot of sweeping and cleaning, our garage was empty for only the second time since we've lived here. And after that, we were ready to call it a day. Okay, well, <laughs> cold. it's the next day and things have taken a turn for the cold. Not a turn for the worst, a turn for the cold. That's the same thing for us Texans, really. <laughs> so yesterday we got the heavy work done. Now today we just need to figure out what are we keeping and what are we getting rid of well we kind of already know we just have to actually do that so we've definitely got a pretty good idea and we've kind of been making piles of like <laughs> we're going to keep this we're going to give away that and uh, i've got a killer idea for our <laughs> first storefront it's going to be amazing all right so i'm going to start taking stuff down to the street for our storefront which i'll tell you more about in a little bit it's going to be amazing Somebody's gonna love this. Oh, yes. All right, are we getting the cupcake next? <laughs> yep. <laughs> And finally, it was time for us to open our first storefront. Have you been waiting for Dean and Andrea to open a home goods store? Well, today is your special day because I would like to introduce you to the Super Best Mega Free Store. We have a brand new line of curated goods all on sale. Sale, sale. And the best part is, Every product in our store is at an irresistibly low price of free 99. Need some antique dressers? Free 99. Need an old skateboard? Free 99. And check out our special selection of mirrors, all free 99. So come visit our brand new storefront where everything is free for you, for you, for you. Babe, the free store is going off. We had six customers at one time. <laughs> 
Great. Well, with the amount of sales we've been making at the free store, I haven't really kept up with what's been going on up here. But it looks like you've been doing some organizing, have you not? I have been. It's so nice. I'm so tired. <laughs> Me too. Both of us are like, our legs hurt, but let's keep going. And with everything completely selling out at the free store, I was ready to come back and join Andrea and finish up the organization of this garage. First, she created a second pile of scrap wood to go along with our first pile of scrap wood from last year. I can't wait to see what she does next year. She also did some ballet exercises. Give it the smell test. Ew! No, I'm just kidding. It smells fine. Good to go. After getting most everything off the driveway and into the garage, we really didn't want to make the same mistake twice, and so we worked extra hard to make sure everything had a place to go. Starting with things that needed to go up in the rafters. Clark Griswold on the job. All right, all right. Time for the red sand box. Those light. Oh, are you okay, bud? Let's not tell mom about that, okay? Speaking of easy peasy, this will not be. Let's give it our best, shall we? Okay. Oh. Got one You know what, boys and girls? There's a thing called good old common sense. I'm gonna use that right now and say this is a two-person job. I'm gonna hold off on that until we have a partner and make a good decision. We're making good decisions today. I need your help. You gonna go for Big Beefy first? Big Beefy first, yeah. Whoa, you are so strong. I think I do this by myself. That's what I thought. <laughs> Yeah, baby. <laughs> good job, babe. Good job. What do you think of that? <laughs> you look like a monkey. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Myself. Round two. Okay. All right. Okay, you got it. I'm letting you yeah. yeah, baby. Careful. One of the final things that we had to do to get this garage truly organized was figure out a system for storing our bikes. Are these gonna solve all of our bike storage needs? <laughs> I hope so. Oh, seriously? It's like That's some like... minor assembly required. How fun. Andrea ordered these bike racks online and they were the perfect solution for our bike storage problem. Pretty good, babe. Thanks. Oh, I like it. Look at that. It's perfect. It is. Let's see if the bikes, hopefully it actually works. Like a dream, huh? Yes. Come on, little BMX guy. Let's put a big beefy on the end. Oh, look how cool this is! And lastly, the little buddy bike. Man, what do you think? How good is that? <laughs> this is what we didn't do last time. We got forced into throwing everything back in because of the rain, and then we never organized it. <laughs> so that's pretty much it, right? Hey, this is awesome. I'm like, we can get to everything we need. I organized my tools. We finally put stuff in that little tool chest that we bought over a year ago. We have a rolling workbench, which has a bunch of stuff on it right now, but I know where all of it goes. We can roll it out when we need it. We've got our miter saw stand. We've got a big pile of wood for another project coming up. It looks good. Everything has a home. I feel like we can maintain this.
Well, can you believe it? We finally finished our garage organization. Good job, babe. I don't know whether to celebrate or feel embarrassed <laughs> or maybe both. Maybe a little bit of both, yeah? But now things are organized. Yeah. Everything has a place. We even have room to put our bikes in there. We even have room to work in there if we have inclement weather. I mean, this is this is gonna be the dream, I gotta say. Yeah, hopefully you don't see a garage video at the <laughs> beginning of 2024. <laughs> we organized our garage for the third time. <laughs> but I do have to point out here and highlight that I absolutely loved our little furry friend moments. Oh Can we gosh. just relive a few oh of those right gosh. now? Go. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Few things make me happier than life than watching Andrea scream her head off because she's such a tough, capable, lovely woman. It just totally cracks me up. So thank you for joining us for this crazy garage organization that happened over the course of a year plus. We appreciate you joining us on the adventure and we will catch you in the next episode where we have some very exciting projects planned. But what a beautiful day, huh? Would you take it easy? Oh gosh, it's so small. Oh yeah. Sun's come out, it's warmed up, the wind has died down. That means jackets coming off, glasses are going on. Let's do it. Okay, jackets coming halfway on. It's still a little bit cold. Wait. <sighs> oh, snake. <coughs> I know, I know. <coughs> it's chesty though. I <laughs> sorry. Continue, ma'am. I was sneezing too. I feel like I need to defend myself. If you've watched our videos, you know how much stuff we did in the past year. There was yeah, no time. True. We didn't leave time to like clean up after <laughs> ourselves. We literally would like have all of our stuff at, over at whatever project we're working on. And then it's like we're yeah. so pooped at the end that it was like we felt like it, we were succeeding just to get it all back in our garage. Boom. Pros. 1206. We are pros. Two cameras and we are pros. Okay. I don't know which is better, the head donk or the animal <laughs> screaming. Hey, you vote. We're going to play these clips back to back. Which one do you get more enjoyment out of? Vote now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at I kind of feel like the head dog. I mean, that was his head making that noise. There was no sound effect out of there. That's like... That was just the old noggin. <laughs> so whenever you wonder, like, what's wrong with Dean? We'll just, you know, remember that guy. Yes. Where are we going now? Antiquing. And I want coffee. Are so we, demanding. Are we... <laughs> and I want coffee. Sorry. <laughs> Catch us in the next video when we go to this cute little downtown area and go antiquing for the perfect little piece to go in our house and it'll look incredible. <laughs> Are you making fun of me? Yes. <laughs>